This One News update is brought to you by ANZ. We live in your world. Occupy Auckland protesters have pitched their tents again in Altea Square after being forcibly evicted yesterday. But while the council says it won't tolerate illegal camping, it also won't tell us how it plans to stop it. Donna Marie Lever has been following developments. The Rainbow Peace Warriors have taken to their turf again. More than 15 tents pitched in Altea Square. They're ignoring the bylaw preventing overnight camping. I'm not going to say that they're bad, but I'm going to say we're not going to listen to the court because we're still going to stay here. Is this all right? Yesterday the Auckland Council was very vocal and had a heavy presence around the campsites as they attempted to shut them down with the backing of police. If your tent is not removed, I have the power to seize and impound your property. But today officials have gone quiet, just issuing a written statement. In it, the council says illegal camping will not be tolerated, but it won't reveal what its next move is either to end the standoff. It now says the situation is becoming an unfair burden on ratepayers. Fences are now up to protect lawn that's already been camped on, and security remains on site, but guards are staying well away from the occupiers. And we're still standing here in defiant and holding aid here, because this is where, where it all started from and this is where it should finish. The group has claimed to be part of a global movement against corporate greed, but that's not everyone's issue. The main issue that we're trying to tackle at the moment is the food bill. I'm protesting against uh, the feelings of disconnection and, and alienation between uh, people and their government. It's um, not been able to get work. We're going against the government corruption. Whatever their cause, chances are they'll be moving soon, with the council vowing to reclaim the parks as public places. Donna Marie Lever. This One News update is brought to you by ANZ. We live in your world.